Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley and today we're going to be doing like my TJ Maxx Marshalls finds for the past two weeks because, uh, two weeks, because I didn't show you guys last week. I don't know what I did. Oh, I think I did my BoxyCharm so I didn't show you this. So we have like two weeks worth of stuff that I found that I'm going to show you and then try on. Um, we do have a little bit of like an Ulta mix in it, um, but I'll let you know. So I'm just going to show you the products, talk about it, the price, and then at the end, We'll go ahead and try it on so if you don't want to see me try it on you don't have to you can just see what cool things you can find at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and the prices so without further ado let's get started okay I'm so excited because the past two weeks I found some really really good stuff um yeah so sorry I don't even know where to start so I'm going on vacation I'm going to Mexico soon so I'm just gonna maybe should I I'm gonna start with the oldest stuff first just to get out of the way so I'm going on vacation very soon to Mexico and I was told to get a bikini wax, but I'm too scared to do that. Well, I'm not too scared, but like it's expensive here in Fargo. So I got some stuff from Ulta to try home and see how I feel. Um, so I got these, looks, Parissa. Um, they're pretty much just like, oh, this helps. Um, so wax strips, face and body hair type express. So there's eight of them in here. I guess they're double sided. So I am going to try these as a backup or take them with me on vacation for like, a touch up you know and then I got these little cosmic candy hard wax beans um, face and body I got it in cotton candy or no wakes but yeah this is cotton candy so pretty much you just like microwave it and then it's hard wax so you don't need strips to oh my I did get like um, the little wooden things but I get that but you don't need strips to remove it so I got these two I'm gonna try these and see what I think um, these are what I'm trying first, and the other the strips are like my backup. This is gonna be like a random ramble here for a second. Oh, and then the only other thing I feel like I got oh I got um like a spray from Sally Hansen that is supposed to make it where you don't have bumps afterwards. So I got that too. I'll try it, and then I will like let you guys know if it's good or not of all of them. But the other thing I got from Ulta is this hydrating camo concealer from Elf. I believe it was six dollars. I got mine in the shade light sand. I am wearing it today. I didn't want to put it on in, on camera because it takes so long. But yeah, this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I, I'm wearing it right now and I don't mind it. Um, the doe butt is huge. Um, but the weird thing is, I feel like it's like peach. And yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, but that's what it looks like. I don't know. I think it looks okay. What do you guys think? Uh, but yeah, so six bucks. I'm still testing this out, but I'm happy I found it. Um, if I like it, it'll be going on vacation with me. I'm testing out a ton of stuff to see what's going to wear well and what I'm going to take on vacation with me. Because obviously I only want to take like good things that work and well or wear well with me on vacation. Um, so I am testing this out. We'll see if it'll go with me. But so far, it's so good. And six bucks, you can't complain. Um, and then I got these Eyler London Pro Magnetic Lash. It comes with the magnetic lash and then lashes um oh i forgot to tell you this was like nine bucks ten bucks this was fifteen dollars it's a little jar i don't know where my receipt went um but this i think was ten bucks um i got this last week um so yeah i'm probably not gonna try it out on camera because i'm not good at lashes but i will try these and let you know because i do kind of want to wear lashes on vacation um, but I don't know. I'm not good at normal lashes. So we'll try these and then I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I did pick these up and I think they were 10 bucks as well. 10 or 11 bucks. And the last thing that from Ulta that we're going to be trying is this little bite size shadow from e.l.f. It's cream and sugar. It's just tiny little four, um, pans. Um, this is what it looks like. I think it was like three bucks, four bucks. Um, I'm trying to look for smaller eyeshadows to take on vacation with me, but we will be trying this today. Um, but I did pick this up at Ulta. This is the last Ulta thing I picked up. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this because if this works really nice, I'll probably just take it on vacation with me. My only gripe is why well, I don't want such a dark brown. Like I would like kind of a, you know, because this is like something I would set my lid with and then this is my only like transition shade. Then I have two shimmers and honestly, I hate when they have more shimmers than mattes, because mattes are like, what well, I don't know, I'm, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna try this, we'll see what I think, because if anything, my, like, my Natasha Denona one's for sure coming with me, but if I could pair these two together to create stuff, I'd really like that. So I hope this works out, but we'll see today. Um, oh, and then, sorry, I lied to you. This is the last thing I got from Ulta. This is the Makeup Revolution London in Chauffeur. This is the lip liner. Remember I got, um, what was it, White Wedding? 
and it was like a pinky color. Um, I really like it. I love the formula actually. And so I wanted to get kind of a brown one. And I told you I wanted to get chauffeur to begin with, but they were sold out. So white wedding was like my second option, but I really love it. Um, it's honestly just as good as my Tarte one. So I probably won't buy another Tarte lip liner. I'll probably just keep buying these because I like them so much. Sorry. <laughs> and this was $9. Kind of expensive for drugstore, if you ask me. Oh, I cannot get this. I should have done it before I filmed. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Gosh dang it. Sorry guys. Might just have to, but this is what it looks like. Um, I like that it's um, not like a pencil. Isn't that so pretty though? I love it. It's a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to have to mess with this after my video, but I'm really excited. So we might be trying this today. I have a lot of lip products, um, but yeah, so I was excited to find a chauffeur. Um, boom. Okay, done with Ulta. Now let's go ahead and move on to my TJ Maxx and Marshall finds. Um, so the first thing, I'll just do skincare and then I'll do makeup. I really didn't find that much makeup, I guess. Um, I got the Dr. Jark Shake and Shot rubber brightening mask. This is what it looks like. I get these all the time at Marshall's and I do love them. I've done like four or five of these and they retail for $5.99 at Marshall's. I really love them. So you like put all like there's a packet in here that has like liquids in it. You put it in, shake it and then this is a little spatula and you just put it on, leave it for like 20-30 minutes and it turns into like legit rubber. I love these. They're probably my favorite masks ever. They're really good. If you can find them at TJ Maxx, and Marshalls, highly recommend, like, grab them. Um, because they're so much cheaper there than at Marshalls. Or, I mean, than at Sephora, you know? And then sticking with skincare. If you guys are going to see a theme, I like Dr. Jart. So, I got two Dr. Jart peeling solutions. Um, face masks. Um, it's AHA P pH balancing. Um, I got two of them. I got these at TJ Maxx and they retailed for $3.49. So, not too shabby. Um, it looks like the serum's up here and then the mask is down here. I haven't tried these ones yet. These are new and I'm so excited to try them. Um, but I'll let you guys know, but this is a good find too. I love Dr. Jart, like I said, he's awesome. Or makes great products. And then I found the Sashado Facial Cotton things. Um, these retailed for $3.99 at Marshalls. And how many are in here? I don't even know. Uh, it doesn't, oh, 40 sheets, so that's not bad. So th four bucks for 40 sheets, that's not bad. Um, I've heard great things about this to like remove your makeup or you know put your micellar water on. So I'm excited to try these. I've never tried them before. I will keep you guys updated, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked because this is a great find. And I've heard Shiseido, is that, am I saying it right? Is a really, really good brand. So maybe if I like these, I'll you know venture into some of their other skincare. Okay, now for the makeup. So I found, this is today, um, by the way, yeah, this was today, those masks were today, and then this was today. I found a little NARS duo, it's called Sex Machine. I think the packaging is so cute, and I got it for $9.99 at Marshalls. So we'll go ahead and take it out. So it's a little, I don't know if it's like a mat or what, but this is what it looks like. It comes with two mini products, um, so yeah, we'll swatch them really quick. Oh, I think this is a gloss. Yeah, okay, so this is the gloss. Pinky, it has some color, pretty. I don't know, I'm very particular with my pinks, so I'm gonna have to try this on to know because I was a little weary after I bought it. And then here's like the crayon. Velvet Matte Lip Pencil is what it's actually called. That's what it is right there, pretty. I'm excited to try it on the lips, um, but yeah, we'll see if it's my shade of pink. And if I don't like it, I'm just gonna give it to my sister. But for 10 bucks, two little NARS deals, not bad, not bad at all. And then next we'll go on to my favorites and the ones I'm most excited for. I found the Becca Party Popper like trio of lipsticks. I've been wanting these so bad, but I was not going to pay the full price tag for them. And then I saw them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls like a while ago, but they were like 15 bucks. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing it. But I found them at Marshalls for $9.99. So not bad. I could do 10 bucks. I haven't even opened this. Um, I'm so excited. Let's just open it. We're just gonna open it together. Um, so yes, if you have been wanting these or to try the Becca lipsticks, I know they have a few Becca lipsticks there right now, just not any of these shades. Um, you can go take a look. 
And if you guys want me to bring you with me to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, just let me know. I'd be so happy to do that. So cute. How do you get it out? Oh, okay. So this is like the size. So cute. Perfect for vacation. There's this. Okay, so there's like, I've never tried the Becca formula. So obviously like, geez. I was intrigued to try it because I've heard great things, but there's one particular shade in here that I'm dying to try. And it's sugar, because everyone says such good things about sugar, and it's like a nude that's like right up my alley. So we'll just go ahead and swatch that first. But yeah, so this is what the bullets look like. They're so cute and so tiny. So you get like this much product, not a lot, but like for me, I don't go through full size lipsticks, and a mini's not that bad. So this is the shade. This is sugar. This is like the iconic shade everyone's been talking about. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, literally this one already might be going on vacation with me. Oh, I love it. Um, also, there was some Becca like Hydro Set Mist powders at TJ Maxx right now. Um, this one is the shade Rosewood. That's what it looks like, pretty red. Um, and there's Opal, yeah, Opal highlighters, the mini ones at TJ Maxx for I think eight dollars. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I don't wear reds very often, but that that's pretty. Like a berry. That's like a berry color. So I might, I might. And then this one is Orchid. Ooh, that's what that looks like. I don't think this will be my shade, but it's pretty. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh my God, look at that. That's beautiful. That's like just a deeper nude. I like that. Okay, so I might actually get some use out of that one too. Um, wow, so this, that's the trio for 10 bucks. I think that's a steal. I love the colors. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of lip products. I don't know which one we're gonna use today. Okay, but now we're gonna get into the last product that I bought and this was last week. Um, did I say the lipsticks I bought last week too? Sorry, I feel like I have a hair on my nose. I don't like that. Let me get a little drink too. Okay, so the last product I found last week is another bag of product and I gagged when I found it. Are you ready? <laughs> it's the freaking highlighting palette. Um, yeah, so I'm baffled I found it. I found it for $19.99 at TJ Maxx. So I'm excited. It says Pop Goes the Glow Champagne Pop Face and Eye Palette. Oh, I didn't know it was an eye palette. I thought it was just a face palette. I haven't even swatched it yet. I'm so excited. This is obviously the highlight we're gonna be wearing today. Okay, let's get it out of the packaging. Oh, you still get this cute little like bubble confetti thing. Okay. So you get champagne pop, caramel, truffle, berry, and pink cream. All shades can be used for a pop of color on the face, cheek, and eyes. Okay, wow, oh, it comes with a big mirror. Wow, look at these, how gorgeous. I don't know that I would be able to use this as a highlighter, maybe like a lid shade or like a very light blush. Um, but yeah, so this is Champagne Pop. I already have Champagne Pop and I love it, so that's kind of why I wanted it. But these other four shades are gorgeous. Maybe we'll go, like, oh, this is beautiful. Let's swatch it, let's just swatch it. So we already know what Champagne Pop looks like beautiful uh, where do I want to do this we'll just do it right here gorgeous and then I think this one's the truffle or no caramel this one's caramel that might be too deep for me yeah it is it's really pretty I think this one's truffle Ooh, that's pretty too then here is that like dark shade oh I think this is a blush Ooh, it didn't swatch that great but if it's a blush I'd rather it be super light you know pretty that's actually pretty it built up um, quite nicely let me just wipe my fingers off so we can get that last shade yeah I think those two are actually gonna be too dark for me um, but maybe I could use it in the summertime to like highlight my body or something and then the last shade That's really pretty too. I like that. That's gorgeous. Um, 
Maybe to lighten things, I will mix Champagne Pop with other colors to lighten it. Um, why not? Yeah, so this is, what is it called again? Okay, yeah, so this is Champagne Pop, Caramel, Truffle, Berry, and Pink Cream. Um, so yeah, we'll be using this to highlight today. Uh, I'm super excited, but that's everything I got. So now, we're going to go into the try-on. I already have blush on, and I didn't bring my blush brush, so we won't try that blush but we will just go ahead and try the highlighters um, I'm gonna take my luxe brush that I always highlight with my favorite highlighting brush I just love this we'll see if it was worth the $20 so yeah I think I'm gonna mix champagne pop you know what I'm really liking what is it called pink cream so I'm gonna mix champagne pop and pink cream so this one and this one And let's highlight. Oh, I guess I should take the thing off the mirror, huh? So satisfying to do this. Ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's highlight. I do love Becca's highlighters. They are, geez, my hair. Some of the best highlighters I've ever used. And they will probably... I'm trying to pick which ones are going to go on vacation with me. I'm probably going to do just minis and not full size, but I do have, ooh, that's nice. I like that. That's a good combo. Um, minis with me, which I do have a champagne pop and a mini. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to take on vacation with me, let me know and I will show you what I packed, what my go-to will be for vacay. My cats are looking at me like they want fed, but they already got fed, so <laughs> So stinking pretty. I love that, that's beautiful. Highlight the nose. I tried contouring my nose today. Let me know if you uh, notice a difference at all. <laughs> pretty, I love that combo. That is gorgeous, wow. This is a hit. So excited about that. I'd say it's totally worth the $20. Like, look at that. That's a pretty nice glow. I'm pretty stoked about that. I would just wish it was smaller because I don't want to take big clunky things with me on vacation, you know? I don't think anybody does. And, the, you know, just the risk of it breaking. No one wants that. Okay. Let's move in to eyes really quick. So, we'll go ahead and use this little teeny tiny bite size elf shadow in um, cream and sugar. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So my lids should be set already. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this Morphe brush and go in with, they don't have names, um, but with this little like cream shade. Let's see, is there a lot of kick up? Uh, a little bit. I don't know if you can see. A little bit. <sighs> Nothing that we've like never seen before, you know. Okay, let's put it on the eyes and see if it can even be a transition shade. Or not. Yeah, I don't see that being a transition shade. That's going to be something I'm going to put all over the lid. And it just to like, and it, I mean, that's, I do that every day anyways. It just kind of smooths everything out and lays down a nice base for the color. So that means we only have that dark brown to work with, and I'm not excited about that. Um, so we'll see how I make that work. We'll just try something new, I guess. I'm obviously, see I don't want it to like blow up in my eyes, that's what I'm literally terrified of. So I'm just going to take this mini Luxie brush, I'm probably going to take these on vacay with me because they're so mini and travel size and awesome. Um, okay, so let's take this dark brown, I'm going to start it in the outer corner and then diffuse it up into the crease, well at least that's what I'm going to try to do. This one has some kick up as well. Tap that excess off, you know what I'm saying? Okay.
kind of working. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this brush and get a little more of that brown shade. And just kind of put it right back down here. A little bit more in the crease. I can keep building. But I do want it to be a little bit lighter in my crease, you know? And then darker on the outer corner. So I need to diffuse it. So we're gonna blend like our life depends on it and see if we can make this work. So I'm not talking much. I'm just like really focused because I really want to make this work. <laughs> so I really want to bring like tiny things with me on vacation so I don't have to worry about big stuff. Okay, that kind of worked. Nice. Okay, so that kind of worked. So that's this eye. I don't think it looks bad. It's not my favorite look ever, though. Um, yeah, we'll try to do the same thing on the other eye. And we you know we won't judge it too hard until we're done because maybe once we put the shimmers on our lid, it's gonna be like beautiful, gorgeous, best thing we've ever seen in our lives. You know? Just add a smidge bit more. Right into the crease. Blend, blending, 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 blending. So we're just going to add a little bit more just to deepen it a smidge bit. Miss Belle, what are you doing? Hey. She's on the counters and she knows she's not supposed to be. They do this every time I film, you guys should know this. They say it every time, because they do it every single time. I think this eye is darker than this eye, dang it. Well, this eye will just keep blending, 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 blending. And it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do now is take this big fluffy brush and go back in with this cream shade right here and blend out the edges on the crease with it. Not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the shimmers. I'm not gonna wet them just to see how they perform, but just so you know, normally when I'm not filming or testing it, I would wet the shadows or put like a concealer base down. Um, so let's go in with this shade right here and do it all over the lid. Okay, that's what it looks like. Not bad, not bad at all, actually. I am just using my finger. I always use my finger for the most part. Okay, sweet. Where's my napkin? There it is. 
So let's go ahead and just blend the edges a smidge. So I'm literally just dabbing him, just a slight dab with that brown. And we're just gonna blend right here. Not horrid, so same thing, just like the slightest dab and blend the edges. Pretty. So now, let's just go ahead and take this light shade and put it on the center of the eye. Looks like Make it pop a little bit. We'll blend it together. No, I'm too worried. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take like this little brush here and just kind of blend the two edges together. Yeah, looks good. It just blended really nicely. Okay, that's what it looks like. I don't hate it. It's not my favorite though, you know? Um, the formula seems fine. The shimmers feel kind of weird. Um, but they looked really nice. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I think I do kind of like it. Um, I think it, I do. So... Did I not bring, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick. You know what, since we're not testing on a new mascara, let's just finish off the lips. Um, for this look, I don't really wanna do a pink, so I'm gonna go in with Chauffeur and line my lips. I think I'm gonna try out bear or sugar. Hmm, that's really pretty nude. I love this. This is probably going on vacation with me. So pretty. Sorry, my eyes are burning. Not because of the eyeshadow, because my contacts suck. Really pretty. The lip is a hit. But okay, so this is the finished look. We're gonna leave it here. I'll finish the eyes off camera so I don't have to bore you, but this is everything. What did you think of the stuff I got? What do you think of the eyeshadow? Have you tried this? What are you gonna try if you are? And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.